Hello everybody, welcome to Joyce Toy Store. First of all, a racing car doesn't have to be driven by a professional racer. Either gaming chairs, anyone can use them. Now in today's society, most of us probably spend many hours sitting down, reading, working or playing games. That's why a chair is pretty critical for all of us. Same rule applies to our beds, our mattress. We spend many dollars investing in our mattress because we know that we spend probably six to eight hours a day sleeping in our beds. However, the funny thing is, we probably spend more time sitting down than lying down, yet the money that we invest in beds are actually higher than our chairs. That's why today's episode, I'm introducing Xenox. Xenox is a Hong Kong local brand that specializes in manufacturing gaming chairs. Now, the series that I have right now, this chair, is part of the Saturn series. It's got four colors, uh, black, red, white, and this blue. But first of all, thank you Xenox for providing me this chair. Obviously, without you, I wouldn't be able to make this video. Now, the cost of this chair is 1999 uh, includes free shipping, Hong Kong dollars. The only thing is you have to install it yourself. It is quite simple, I've done it myself. I, the, the clip coming up is the assembling of the chair. And after that, I'll be comparing the standard, three standard office chairs and see which one has the better value between its price, function, and usability. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so here we have the three chairs to compare. So first one, you see the bar stool and the, all the prices are above here. Now, uh, the bar stool is 1,500 plus. Add shipping on top. The standard office chair is 1,800 plus, plus shipping fee. Uh, Xenox, the satin series, it's 1,999. But shipping's already included. So in terms of the price-wise, this one's actually more expensive than this, including after including the shipping cost. It's just the comparing between these two, really, in terms of the price and the and the functions and all. But uh, first of all, let's show you the bar stool. 
I mean, it's the standard, you can go up, spin, or go back down, just probably sit on it. So, spins, I mean, nothing too special, it's more just the designer look. Uh, this one, the standard office chair, you'll be, you'll be able to like twist the handles left and right when you press the button or you can press the outside button when it goes up and down. Uh, in terms of the back wise, obviously the bar still doesn't have any support, uh, but this one, uh, yes it does, the middle part of your back does have the support, but not the lower back, as well as the shoulder blade, above your shoulder blade area. That part doesn't have much of a support. Uh, there's the neck part, but to be honest, like if I want to set it up to be very supportive, I'll have to lean back, and this is what I probably have to, the position which I probably would have to work. Like, to be honest, not too comfortable. Uh, the shoulders are out. Uh, there's not much of a, the shoulder blade support area. But I mean, in terms of the price wise, I don't think it's that worth it. Obviously, at that time, I never thought about a gaming chair. Now, lastly, is the Cenox one. Now, it's, it's, a, it's like a racing chair anyway, so like your shoulders are supported. Uh, there's the neck rest and the back rest. So I mean like you can adjust up and down as well as here. Like, I mean this one, you, you just move around until like it's in the perfect position for yourself. But in terms of the back, you can, you can adjust it up or push it down depending how you see it, depending on the angle. Uh, unlike the standard office chair, this one only has the up-down function. But in this sense, it's got like the racing car sort of mechanics in it, where you just lift it up and go straight, or you can keep continue lifting it up and you can go all the way down. So in this sense, I'll just show you, you can go back like 180 degrees, and obviously at this time, you sit a little bit back up, adjust your headrest, adjust your backrest in the right position and trust me it is very comfortable in that sense like you could literally just lie here for half an hour or more if you have the time I mean when you finish just come back up pull it and obviously it'll adjust to your own position when you're working I mean if you what I probably recommend is in this sense, this one with shipping costs, it's already over Synox, to be honest. And I wouldn't really recommend it because it's not comfortable when I'm sitting down on my chair for over 12 hours a day. I would go for this chair, the stool, if you're a designer or maybe if you have those adjustable high tables. Uh, this one then, it's good to go because it's, it can be adjusted quite high. So just like a bar stool, you know those um, very high tables. So it's good for that. But this one, you can lift it up. But I mean, there's only a certain limit, certain amount that can go up. So in, in that sense, your table can't be all the way up here because your chair's all the way down here. So in that sense, the bar's better. But if it's standard desk, like a working desk, this one is seriously the one to get. Well, uh, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure to give me a like. If you love what I'm doing and want to see more, make sure to subscribe to my channel, Joe's Toy Store. And if you have any comments or whatever, leave in the below section. I'll be checking it out. See you guys next time.